buddy Ken was in there, had this guitar up for 180 bucks and gave it to me for 50. It's a Dean Acoustic Electric, whatever, whatever. But uh, check out the back of it. <laughs> it had Do Not Pawn scratched into it and not only did somebody pawn it, they took it in. But I needed a little beater acoustic, so for 50 bucks, this thing's pretty decent. I'll take it. So here's the guitar I just got from the pawn shop, and you can see, for some reason, somebody carved with a key or something. Do not pawn. I did a little bit of sanding with some 6 and 1200 grit, and some of the ends started coming out. So what I think I'm going to try is to do a little sanding on it, and then maybe a little bit of aquafil, and then sand that back, and then polish the whole thing up. Uh, maybe throw a little extra clear on the back. See if we can make this disappear. Yeah, why would you pawn your do not pawn guitar? I don't know. I want to take this sticker off. So this is where we are so far. You can still barely see it. I am uh, very grateful that apparently Dean Guitars uses quite a thick clear coat. So this is the sanding so far. Obviously we're going to have to do a whole lot of polishing to get this back up to uh, factory shine. But I am hoping we don't have to clear coat it. It will just be slightly thinner in this area. Not too awful bad, not as bad as I thought for sure. Here she is, our Dean all cleaned up. Check out the nice secondary sheen on the frets here. Always love shiny frets, right? The body looks great. But I know everybody wants to see the back, so let's check that out. I saved you the pain of restringing this thing. I went ahead and did it. Clean up the fretboard. But yeah. No do not pawn anymore. Pretty darn stoked on that. Now I can pawn with impunity. There's nothing to stop me. Of course it didn't stop the person who pawned this. Pretty happy with how that came out, guys. And, you know, for 50 bucks, 
pretty stoked on this guitar overall. Alright guys, you'll have to pardon the sad song. Uh, I will say I'm pretty happy with the guitar, but I uh, want to interject with something else here. Uh, if you guys know the channel, you know that we're all about creativity, and in between filming the last shot and this shot, I found out that Grant Imahara from Mythbusters died. And that makes me pretty sad, because growing up I used to watch Mythbusters, and Grant in particular could create anything. And you know this channel is all about creativity, and I'm all about creativity, and just being able to do things with my hands, and... Grant was like a master of that, and it's really, it's, it's really sad, but, um, so I just, I know it doesn't amount to much, but I'll dedicate this video to Grant and, you know, a spark of the creativity, part of the inspiration and the creativity of this channel comes directly from that man and Mythbusters, so I'm a little sad about that, but, uh, I hate to bring everybody down at the end of the video, but please go pay your respects to Grant. And uh, thank you for watching and appreciating this instrument with me. And uh, I don't know, just go appreciate the life of an awesome creator that we just lost, unfortunately. But uh, everybody stay safe out there. And uh, take care of your loved ones. And I will see you soon.